This is a short video to explain to new users on PastureBase how to add a grass cover. In this video, we're going to talk about adding a grass cover on what's called live pasture base or the computerized version, or some people will refer to it as adding it through the browser. So the website address is www.pbi.ie. In this video, we're going to assume that the user has already added their list of fields or paddocks um, to their pasture base account. So on the black menu down the left of the pasture base screen, you click on this icon button for grass and then click grass cover wedge new. It automatically will come up with today's date. So if you want to enter a cover for a previous date, you click in here and you select your date. So we're going to select the 1st of September and then you press continue. Then it'll bring up a list of your fields or paddocks and showing the size of them. And you can go ahead and enter your cover. So I'm just going to quickly run through and putting on a cover here. OK, so that's our list of covers. Um, now we will look at this column to the right, which is paddock status. At the moment, all of our paddocks are set to grass. We've one paddock here with a very high cover. It's about 1700. So um, we're going to uh, set it um, to a different status. So if we click the down arrow here at grass, we'll see the options are being grazed, grass, other enterprise, reseed, silage cut later and silage cut now. For this paddock, we're going to set it as silage cut now um, as it's a surplus paddock that we're going to make bales in and then it's going to come straight back into the rotation. The first field is where the stock or the cows are today. Uh, we're going to set it as being grazed. And the rest of the paddocks we're going to leave as grass. The other options that are available, other enterprise can be used if you want to leave a paddock out of the, the loop altogether. Reseed is self-explanatory if a paddock is being reseeded at present. And silage cut later is more the silage that's pre-planned and you close off the field and it grows for a few months and then you make silage. And silage cut now is more when you have a surplus and you decide to take out a paddock, but it's going to be coming straight back into the rotation. So that's our full cover filled in um, for the 1st of September. And now we can click the green button, move to wedge. This then brings up our grass wedge. We can see that there's one brown bar, that's the paddock we set as being grazed. And there's one bar then to represent each of the other paddocks. Uh, they show in descending order of covers. Underneath the wedge, then, we have some summary information. It's telling us that our farm cover is 610. It's showing in red as it feels that's a little bit low for this time of year. Our cover per livestock unit is 250. Our growth, it doesn't give us a growth in this cover. Um, it won't give you a growth for your very first cover or if you haven't done a cover for a very long time. Our demand is 38. Um, we already have stock on, entered on our farm. So we're saying that we have 40 spring milkers. So you put in the number of cows and then you put in the, the amount of grass and meal they're having. And if it was a time of the year that they're having silage, you would include that as well. We also have five uh, beef cattle. Uh, so again, you put in the number, but in the case of um, all other cattle, other than dairy cows, you put in the average weight, which is 350 kilos in this case. And it, it calculates then automatically that their grass intake is 2% of their body weight. So it's coming out as seven here. So that's our first grass cover. Now, just for demonstration purposes, we will add a second grass cover. So again, we go to our black menu, we click grass cover wedge new. Um, and now we're going to leave it at today's date, the 7th of September. We press continue. And again, it brings up our list of paddocks. Uh, this time round, we can see um, what the covers were on the previous cover. So now we're on the 7th of September and we can see in this column here what each paddock was on the 1st of September. So we've quickly um, put on our cover. Um, uh, 
Now we're coming to the paddock fourth field that last time round we said was a silage cut now. So we've since made the bales. So it now has a low cover because it's just been cut for silage. It's very important now, if the bales are made, we want to click back to grass. Then it pops up a question, has this paddock been cut for silage since the previous cover? And we're going to say yes. And then it'll bring up a box um, that it wants to know what date it was cut on. So we'll say it was cut on Saturday the 4th. And it also wants some information about the silage yield. So you can estimate what the yield was, or if it was made into bales, you can put in the number of bales. And then it will automatically calculate the yield from that. So we're saying 10 bales. It uses a figure of 200 kilos dry matter per bale. We click use and it brings up the yield and then we click save. Um, we've Next paddock then is the furs field. We said it was being grazed the last cover. So now we're um, it is a low cover today um, and it's since been grazed out. So again, we click it back to grass. That's very important. And then it goes pink. It wants to know what date it was grazed out on. So we click this little icon, which is a little calendar icon. And again, we pick the graze out date. So we click Friday the 3rd and save. Then we keep going with the rest of our cover. Now this paddock had quite a high cover um, the last time, so it's since been grazed and it has a low cover today. Um, so it was 1400, now we're putting in 100. As soon as we click that, because it has decreased in cover quite a bit, it's going to want to know what's happened. Uh, we're telling it it's been grazed and again we pick the date. So we say it was grazed just yesterday and save. Um, then we keep going with the rest of the cover. Move from one box to the next, we can either use the enter button or click the mouse into the box. And now we've got all the covers filled in, we click move to edge. And again, brings up our grass wedge. Now we haven't set any paddock as being grazed in this cover, so all our bars on the wedge are green. This time round, you can see we have some red numbers over some of the bars here. So they're the paddocks that we put in the graze and the silage events on. So it's the number of days since the event um, has happened. Again, uh, our farm cover, it's showing in red because it thinks it's a little bit low for this time of the year. You can click on the green eye there to get details. It gives us the cover per livestock unit. Our growth, it's giving us this time because this is our second cover. It's 48. Our demand is 38. So our growth is running a bit ahead of demand. And again, we have the same livestock as before. So again, that kind of gives a good basic introduction on um, how to do uh, basic covers on pack.